Radio Brain. It's Cabaret, where we rock your brains with Fields of the Nephilim, England's fast-rising, self-proclaimed spaghetti metal band. Tonight, lead singer Carl McCoy talks about what makes the Nephs tick and how they got their neck. Well, apparently, what's supposed to have happened is that some angels were cast out of the heavens, and they, they came down to the earth, and they bred with the women on the earth and produced like this supernatural race of giants. And uh, the giants sort of roamed the earth for a while, and they were supposedly wiped out during the flood. But um, there was a few survivors, but no one really, really knows what happened to them. I mean, no one knows enough about the Nephilim anyway. It's just like a legend. So we took the name on because it's quite a mysterious thing. And we added fields as in like uh, magnetic fields drawing in towards the Nephilim rather than green pastures. English people are really proud, like, you know, they just sort of, I don't know, they wear blinkers, I think, you know, they, they're too much interested in themselves and the fashions, and bands like us don't really stand a chance, but we've actually d done a lot of gigs, and we've built up a really big reputation, well, we've got a good reputation, and uh, we've got one of the biggest sort of cult followings in England now, because of, like, just purely hard work and sort of believing in ourselves. I mean, we've never, a lot of bands in England, they ride on the band, backs of other bands. The only reason they get on is because they, they're friends with other bands and the music business and what have you. But we're not like that. We don't live like the, the rock and roll lifestyle, you know. We're, just, we're not people to be seen at clubs and things like that. We just do our own thing, just like all we're interested in is music. We write from a purely selfish point of view. We write to please ourselves not to try and fit into anything. Hi, I'm Carl, and this is Peter, and we're both from Fields of the Nephilim. You're watching 120 Minutes on MTV. The Nephilim were a race of giants, supposedly, like, from the First Testament, and they were wiped, they were wiped out during the Flood and there was a few survivors, so no one really knew anything about them. I mean, a lot of people ask us this. No one knows a lot about them. You have to look in a biblical dictionary to, like, for the references and that. But uh, we took the name on purely because like, they was like mysterious people, and no one knows what happened to them. And that, that was the reason, really. And we used fields as in like uh, magnetic fields, the drawing in towards Nephilim rather than the big green sort of past fields. Pasties. Pastures. Mm. Pastures. Well, I'm glad that they cleared that one up for us. Well, apart from having an ambiguous name, Fields of Nephilim hail from Stevenage, England, and over the past five years, they've established themselves as one of the top gothic bands around. The current album, Dawn Razor, topped the 1987 independent chart, the British magazine Melody Maker. And surprisingly, it's also their debut album. It took the Combat Cowboys four years to lasso a record contract. And even then, they're in no hurry to sign a major deal. If we'd gone on to a major record company straight away, like in England, we would have been swallowed up totally. I mean, we would have been just a little tiny unit in amongst this great big system, you know, and we, we would have been nothing. I mean, it would have probably done us more harm than good. We probably had all the hype, the single, the push, and that would have been it. It's not the way that we've... We're, what we're about. I mean, everything's been natural, like, uh, just a natural development over the years, and we've, like, we've got as big as we have in England, purely because, like, we've uh, built up a good live reputation, like, you know. Well, the fields of the Nephilim have been trying to build a good live reputation in here in the States, too. They've just wrapped up a 17-day tour, and right now they're home writing songs for their second album. Here's the current video from the fields of the Nephilim. It's called Blue Water.